Hey, what's going on, Scorpios? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do the remainder of April read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, we are going to be using the Tarot of Dreams. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for what's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio. So the first thing I see Scorpio is I feel like there is someone that's already around you now. I feel like this is someone you have a history with. But I feel like with this person, you know, you don't feel, you know, I, I feel like you never really felt nurtured by this person. You never really felt like this person. Now, you know, you never really felt like this person really put you first forever. You know, I feel like this person always felt like they just gave enough to keep you around. And I feel like anytime you, you felt like this wasn't going anywhere, this person would step up. But as soon as you got, as soon as it got comfortable again, this person, you know, I, I don't feel like they ever consistently nurtured this connection. You know, I, I, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of sleepless nights. I feel like you almost, sometimes you feel trapped with this person. You know, you feel like you're in that prison. And with that nine of, nine of swords, it, it, a lot of late nights, a lot of anxiety. You know, there's sometimes when it feels like you're just, you're stuck. You know, and, I, and I, it's because of that vicious cycle that, you know, every time they feel like you're getting sick of it, it's that, you know... I, I like to call it the wicked games, you know, because this person has a hidden agenda, you know, I, and I feel like you already know that, but I feel like there's times when this person can really get to you. You know, I feel like because you had a history with this person, it's almost like they know how and when to push. And when they start pushing too hard, they know when to let off. And then they, they kind of change and they kind of start giving you more and, The reason that you're getting this treatment from this person is because they know they need you, but they also know that you don't necessarily need them. Now, I don't feel like they they, they, they they need you, but I don't feel like it's like they want you. You know, it's almost like they want you when they want you, but, you know, it, it's all about convenience for them. You know, I... I like I said, I feel like this person, I feel like they know you well enough to know when they got to stop pushing. You know, when 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 they, they know when they need to flip the script and start being nicer to you. And, you know, I, I feel like they do that when they feel like there's distance between you. Like, they don't want to lose you, but they're also not giving you anything. They know they can't do it by themselves, and that's why they flip, and that's why they act the way they do. And I feel like it is hard for you to see it because of the fact that, like I said, I feel like they know you well enough to know how to, you know, how to pull on those strings. Like I said, when they know, it's almost like that energy when, when, when you're upset with someone, they're a little bit nicer to you. 
You know, they, they go out of the way to do things for you. But that shouldn't be the way someone treats you. They should do things, they should they should do things for you all the time. It shouldn't just be when they know they need to. But that's not really what this read is about. I mean, it is to the extent, but there's something else happening here that, that I really want to talk about because I, I feel like this is a nowhere zone. I feel like it's not really going anywhere. I don't see a whole lot of forward movement with this. You know, there's a lot of hot and cold energy there. I, I don't feel like you're on the same page. I don't feel like you want the same things. Like I said, I feel like it's it's more or less they know they can't do it without you. You know, I, I don't feel like you want the same things. I, I don't feel like there's any real stability that, you've, that you're going to get from this. You know, I feel like this person's all over the place and I feel like they're hanging on to you. You know, they're not hanging on to the to the love they have for you. They're hanging on to you because I feel like you're you're like that lifeline. You're like that life preserver. You know, what you're doing for them far exceeds what they're doing for you and what they're going to do for you. You know, like I said, that hot and cold energy, that in and out bullshit just doesn't work. You know, it doesn't work for you. And like I said, there is going to be times when this person tries to you know, confuse you and make you feel like it's your fault or make it feel like it's not as bad as it seems. There's a lot of games being played here. Like I said, those wicked games, you know, especially when people play on your emotions. That's the hardest time to really, you know, they try to bring up the good times. They try to do all the nice things that they know you like to keep you happy. But then once you're happy, they, they're they not trying to make you happier. They're not trying to make, you know, they're not trying to give you any more. They're just trying to keep you at that status quo. Now, like I said, this is not what I really want to talk about with this read. I, I feel like this is really not going anywhere. I feel like you already know that. But what you're not aware of, what you're not seeing, is I feel like there is someone else coming in. Now, I feel like this person... You know, I feel like this person already has their intentions. They already they already know what they want from you. So I do feel like this person is someone that you may know. But I feel like you may not know this yet. But you will. You know, there is someone that has their eye on you. There is someone that's been interested. But I feel like because you're dealing with this other person, I feel like you're not really getting a full chance to see it. It's almost like, you know, trying to look in two different directions at one time. You know, they're keeping all your focus on them, that past person, and you're not seeing what's happening on the, you know, it's almost like that tunnel vision. But there is someone else that has their eye on you, and I feel like with this person, you know, they already know what they want. You know, and I feel like this person, I do feel like communication is going to come from this person, and I feel like we need to really pay attention to this, because I feel a lot of good things from this person. You know, this person actually wants to be with you, for all the right reasons. This person thinks about you. And that's why, like I said, I feel like this person definitely is someone you already know. I feel like it may be hard to see because I feel like this past person has been a real block. Now with this other person coming in, you know, I, I do feel like there is new love coming in. You know, and I feel like this person, I feel like they've been tired of, you know, I, I feel like this person has been watching you and I feel like they're tired of waiting. That's why that communication is coming. You know, I feel like this, like I said, new love. And I feel like this person is going to chase. You know what I mean? I feel like it may have started off as more of just a little crush. But I feel like as it grown, the, the feelings have grown. And I feel like this person is finally ready to step up. And I feel like you're going to have a choice to, to make. But with this new person, this person is making you a serious offer. They want to make you an offer. You know, and, and this is something that is, they want to build a foundation with you. This isn't just a casual offer. This isn't just something, you know, where this person is just the same old, you know, same story, different book. I mean, this person has a lot of love to give. You know, that unconditional love. And I feel like it, it, it's... You know, I, I just feel like you deserve to have someone that's always on for you. 
not just whenever they know they need to be. You know, having someone that thinks about you like this person does. You know, this person is going to put in the work to make you happy. With that ten of wands, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this 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 past person. I, I I just feel like, like I said, they put in the work to keep you there, but they don't put in the work to keep you happy. And there's two different people we have here, and and, and I feel like there is a clear cut. You know, the decision should be clear, but I I, I feel like sometimes people can play on our heartstrings. You know, I. I and I feel like it may step this past person up having this new person come toward you, but it's just going to be the same old bullshit, you know, promising you things that they, they know they, they damn well can't deliver. And I feel like you, you've, you've invested enough time in this past person. You know, it's time to have someone that wants to live with you, not off you. You know, someone that wants to enjoy life with you, not just, you know, make you happy when they know they have to. But there's two different, like I said, there's two different, completely different people here. This other person, you know, this person wants to offer you something and, and, and it's substantial. It's not just something that's, that's based on bullshit. With this past person, I feel like I don't feel like they ever really did. You know, I don't feel like they ever really did love you. But this new person, this new person possibly could. You know, that past person, I just feel like they were with you for what you could do for them. They were with you for what you brought to them, but they didn't bring anything to you. And the only time they show up for you is when they feel like you may, you, you, you may be letting them go. It's all about them. And this new person is all about you. And I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I feel like the choice is pretty clear. You know, the, the old saying goes, the grass isn't always greener on the other side, but sometimes it is. Now with this past person, you know, I, I, I do feel a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, we do have some earth as well. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And with this new person, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You know, we do have some Libra as well. Um, but like I said, it's... That's the problem with some relationships that we get into in our life. And sometimes we, feel, we build a bond with someone... And just because we build a bond doesn't mean it's a good one. You know, just because we know the person doesn't mean they're in, they, they're out for our best interest. You know, you can know someone for years and never really know what they want from you. But like I said, this past person, I feel like it's what you're doing for them that they're worried about. And this new person, this is someone that genuinely thinks about you. That genuinely sees a future with you. And that will, you know, it, it is very authentic. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.